You know, I played this game, Idol Showdown. Everybody's been playing it. It's a fun little game. I saw that they hit over 500,000 downloads. That's really dope. I'm happy for them. I'm sure that when they were making the game, it was like, haha, funny meme, meme game. Maybe we'll get some people to try it. But awesome. I was playing it yesterday, and if you guys haven't seen, I fought against the character Aki. She definitely has better zoning than this character. Yeah, what the? F she. Oh. Dude, I jumped the assist and then just got immediately hit by her. Okay. I mean, this this is a joke, right? Like, come on. This is a joke. I'm sure you guys know how much of a war crime is being committed by this VTuber uh, through the game. You know, I tweeted about it and then someone said, like, you know, watching that made me not want to play because I'm like, ooh, this stuff looks so nasty. Do it. Like, I'm not sure if I want to deal with that which I thought was really interesting because I've heard that kind of sentiment before. And I'm sure you guys have too, right? People are like, dude, I watched Combo Breaker Grand Finals and seeing Umi Show shoot people, I was like, I'm not gonna play the game. I don't want that to happen to me, right? Or you watch Chris G, yeah, more Doom people. You watch Luke winning or Android 21 or whatever character is really powerful. Every, every game has uh, insert the best character here character. And I'll say this to anybody who feels that way, it's fine. The game is most likely really fun and cool and has lots of good stuff if lots of people are playing it. And one character or many characters being powerful should not deter you. In fact, like usually whatever these characters do at the end game, whatever their strong stuff is, you're watching Happy Chaos shoot people from full screen. The chances of it impacting your experience is probably not that high. What characters can do at high levels and like at their max potential is unlikely to impact you in a negative way if you're new and you're trying to enjoy it. And by the time you get good enough for that to uh, apply to you, you're probably also doing something despicable <laughs> to the opponent's character, and they feel the same way. At whatever level you play the game, there's probably lots of fun to be had against that character and against the rest of the characters in the game. These characters are also cool. I don't know anything about VTubers or Hololive. I thought Oshi was Oishi. Like, I'm not even sure what's going on here. But I'm having a blast playing the game. I think the char characters are really fun. And even though I got teleported and twerked on all over by this Aki character, I had a great time. If I played through it and then I'm still having fun and having a great time and I was the one who was suffering, I think you'll be perfectly fine. I wouldn't worry about it. And every game is going to have stuff like that. Literally every game. I wouldn't let my experience, which is a positive one, negatively affect you because the point of fighting games is to do cool messed up fun stuff like that and then deal with your opponent's cool messed up fun stuff like that and then find cool ways to navigate around it, which, you know, that's the whole purpose of the video game. The characters are all messed up in the sense that they, they're really powerful. We talk about the character power level in games, like a Street Fighter is usually a lower power level game versus like Marvel, right? Marvel, the characters can just do the most messed up things on the planet. This game is extremely high power level. They made the characters like really strong and it's like really funny. <laughs> I have one other topic about Idol Showdown. This is probably the funniest thing I've seen related to a fighting game. The fans, more than any other game I've seen, have been very feral about their characters being good because the characters, they're real VTubers who they know and love and they're like, I want my favorite character to be good. They need to buff it. More than any other fighting game I've ever seen. Their character is not just a character in a fighting game. It's a person who they spent you know, X hundreds of hours, thousands of hours watching and interacting with, and they're a fan of that person and their content. So that character not being the best character in the game makes them extra upset, right? And on that note, I saw this hilarious tweet. Idol Showdown is really funny because the Japanese FGC are so terrified of being dogpiled by the VTuber fans that they've started to use the word kawaii as code for moves that are grimy and have been avoiding making tier lists for the same reason. The Japanese players are so scared that if they say Aki's teleport is broken, the people who are fans of the VTuber Aki will come and harass them. So they say Aki's really kawaii, just like an extremely kawaii character. I love this, I'm a big fan of this. Because we as fighting game fans talk about moves being powerful, broken, cheap, messed up. But when you assign those phrases, right? Character plays really lame. Those things aren't meant to be negative necessarily. They're just descriptions we use for moves, right? And when you just, when you say those about a character who's like a real person, they're not gonna like this, right? They're gonna think this is, is bad. So I gotta use a different phrase. And it goes on. Kazunoko almost bitching about a character and then abruptly ending the sentence followed by a long stretch of him playing in silence. It was absurdly funny. And then it gets worse. 
The vocab has widened since I last checked, and terms like oshi and gachikoi and supacha have joined the ranks of words to sort of disguise the usual fighting game salt. So when you get pissed, you just got to use a different phrase, right? Because if you don't say these kinds of things, you'll have a problem. Even worse, tier lists have been made and people can't find them because, you know, people are scared to post them publicly, I'm sure. But it's chokawai is very, like very cute is how you describe the top tier. Just cute, doing their best and gentle. These are the descriptions of the tier. If you're talking about the video game character, their power level in a vacuum of a video game. But if you speak about it, like this character is not that good. They're kind of whack. Their normals are whack. Their specials are whack. They're not really that strong. They need some love. Then people are going to, they're going to blast you. Even though you're not talking about the actual person. <laughs> Imagine me being like, you know, this character is in ble bless your heart tier. Maybe the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Like you got to describe it that way. Because if you don't, then they're going to kill you. This is the same thing about me when I was playing the game. I was worried, is me not knowing any of these characters going to be a problem to people? But I think people actually just like it. They just like that I don't know who any of these people are. I'll tell you what, Aki, that character, I don't know anything about her as a VTuber. But in this game, she's the cutest. That teleport, I'll tell you the zoning, the everything that she can do. Cho Kawaii, for sure.